Hello and welcome back to Contour Critiques in Cars with Emily. So this show was actually at a different venue that I'd never been to before. So that was definitely um, something that was kind of neat to get to explore a new venue in DC. Not that it's a new venue, it was a new venue for me though. Um, <clears throat> so the headliner was from Indian Lakes and the openers were Queen of Jeans and Yum. So getting there was actually pretty easy. There was no traffic for me going into the city. It was like back roady, so it took like 45 minutes, but honestly, without traffic, it was pretty awesome. And there was a parking garage that was pretty reasonably priced, so that was pretty awesome. So anyway, so getting there was not too bad. So Yum is um, like a one-man show, so he had a digital drum kit, like a drum... Um, sorry he had a digital drum kit and then um he had a keyboard and a mic that he sang on so for the most part um his songs were pretty interesting so he kind of like did a little intro for himself and then he kind of started his first real song it was funny because he did like a loop of um like a sound so he played a loop over and over again and the loop wasn't great and then he started singing and I was like oh man there is definitely something off like it's just wasn't working and it was actually kind of like disappointing because I was really enjoying the lyrics but <clears throat> the music that went along with it just wasn't working and so um and so yeah it was funny because after that he kind of stopped and was like so every night I basically build my songs like from scratch and um sometimes it doesn't work and I don't know if you noticed but in the first song it definitely didn't work and so I just stopped and so I was really glad that one, he addressed it. I thought that that was awesome that he kind of, you know, wanted to share the experience with us. But also I was glad that he actually did stop and kind of like reset because I think that made a huge difference and definitely enjoyed the rest of the song after he had done that. So that was definitely a good choice and I'm glad that that happened. Um, <clears throat> he also played his first song that was written like or produced as Yum, so obviously it made music before that. And I actually really, really loved the um, percussion on that. I thought it was really good. I really liked that song. And then after that, he played a cover, which I didn't know was a cover, and I, like, loved the lyrics, and I was like, oh my gosh, this song is, like, gonna get me into this guy, and then he stopped and was like, so that was a cover. I'm not sure if you recognize that or not. <laughs> so I was actually a little bit sad, because I was like, darn, I was like, that definitely is not his song. <laughs> And then after that, he was like, all right, well, so I was going to play um, one of my own songs or I was going to play a cover that I've never played live before. So, of course, everyone was cheering for the cover. And so he was like, oh, well, I mean, I guess I'll just play the cover. So he played a Dido cover, which was awesome. <clears throat> it was the song from Roswell, so definitely pulling out the heartstrings. But... Um, but yeah, it was interesting because he um, kind of stopped in the middle and was like, yeah, I'm not going to play the happy verse. And I wonder if it's because he couldn't remember the verse because I wonder if he genuinely was not planning on playing that song at all. So, um, so yeah, definitely interesting. He kind of stopped and he actually had like three minutes left. <clears throat> so I, I'm wondering if he had played his own song, if he would have gone till, till the end of um, 830. But, um, but yeah, overall, definitely an interesting set. Would definitely check him out for sure. But yeah. Um, but yeah, sometimes it was hard to understand him when the bass and the um, drums were all playing. But um, but yeah, and again, like even though the first part was not that great, I like that he changed it and kind of knew what was going on and, and had the wherewithal to, to definitely to stop and, and make it better. Um, so then Queen of Jeans came on and... <clears throat> not gonna lie there was a female singer and like right off the bat I was like yep this is exactly why I don't enjoy female singers um I didn't think her voice was that interesting and just like the messages in her songs were sometimes not on point but that being said I did enjoy a majority of the set there were definitely a lot of highlights and maybe one or two lows so definitely definitely ended up being way better than started like when that first couple notes went out I was like oh gosh I was like I just this is gonna be miserable but I'm very glad that it ended up not being that way um so so yeah so um sometimes it was hard to hear her when there were a lot of um instruments but um 
at the end of the first song, I really, really liked the instrumental ending. So that, you know, again, like it, I've never heard any of their songs before. So maybe if I had, um, I would have known the lyrics a little bit better, but definitely enjoyed the instrumental part at the end of that first song. Um, I absolutely love, love, loved the sudden music shift in the third song. It was so well done and it really, really drew my attention. Like I has, was enjoying the third song overall, but then it's like, bam, you get this change and it was just so good and so well done. So I really, really loved that. Um, yeah, so, uh, and again, like some of the lines I really liked just in general in all the songs and then some of the lines I was like, oh, I just don't really like. And um, then in the next song, they changed up. So there was like a, a song where there was a lot of repetition in the bridge. It was the same line over and over again. But man, the way she changed, the way she sang it, the words she held, um, the pitch she sang certain words at, so thoroughly impressed. Like so, so impressed. I really, really liked that part of the show. And um, yeah, I thought that was a lot of good choices made and um, definitely an interesting um, way to sing that song. So I really, really liked that awesome, great job on that song. Then in like 20 minutes in, there was a slow song and um, it just like kind of lost my interest. I was just over it. It definitely, that was a low for me for sure in that part of the set. But then they came back and the instrumentals of the next song just right off the bat were much more interesting to me. So, so again, I, I liked that the instrumentals were definitely good. Then they did a Teenage Dirtbag cover, which was great and uh, definitely a slower version, but still really good. And, and again, it was a cover that I knew and a song I knew well, so, so I did enjoy that. And then for the last song, I didn't really enjoy the song, but I will say that the other guitarist who was not the lead singer, dang girl, she did awesome. Like so awesome in that last song, like just amazing. So that was pretty impressive. Again, not my favorite song overall, but definitely impressed with that one part. <clears throat> All right, so let's get into From Indian Lakes. So before I actually talk about their set, I should let you know that From Indian Lakes is one of those bands that I, when I'm listening to them, I really do not know a majority of their lyrics just from their recorded version. So, um, so yeah, so seeing them live is definitely like awesome, but then sometimes I'm like, I still don't know what they're saying, even when I see it live, even when I listen to it. So that's definitely, um, makes it sometimes hard to kind of judge, like, is it just like the way that the sound is or the setup, or is it just the fact that I don't understand it when it's recorded and I'm not going to understand it when it's live. So, um, they opened with a song that I recognized, but didn't know very well. And then the second song was like way more upbeat and I just loved it. And it definitely like set the tone for the rest of the show for me. Not that the first song wasn't good. It just like the second song was definitely more like a, this is what we're here to do. We're here to rock out. And so that was awesome. Um, and then the third song was like an awesome follow up because again, it was definitely like a more upbeat song. So I really liked that like style of just like, this is a rock out song. So that was cool. Um, <clears throat> sorry. So then they played um, Monsters and it was so good. And I'm pretty sure that was the song that they did not play in DC last time they were opening for um, the band that I was seeing at the time. And so I was so glad that they played that, like so, so excited to see that song. And then they played another song that I knew really well. And I loved this song live because the bridge, they definitely like extended and changed one of the parts and it was just awesome and definitely made it worth seeing live. Like so good. I loved the bridge in that song. And, and again, it definitely was a song that I recognized. So I was like just jamming along and then all of a sudden the bridge comes and it was like a totally different bridge. And I, and I really loved that. So I was really excited about that. And then they follow up with blank tapes, which was awesome. Again, definitely one of their songs that I know really well so just seeing that was just so fantastic um and I really was like super glad to, to see that song um and then after that they played Sleeping Limbs which is another song that I know so so again just just a really good like chunk of music that I personally knew so I was really excited about that and it definitely um was awesome 
And then um, they played a song that I didn't recognize after that, but I really, really liked the way that it was sang um, and the instrumental transitions. I thought it was really cool. And again, there was like definitely like a quicker feel to the lyrics, which I really liked. And, it, and again, that definitely has to do with the way it was sang. So I really liked that. <clears throat> And again, I thought it was a great follow-up, especially because it's like, you know, songs that most people probably know because they're older. And then you get this other song, which I'm assuming is a newer song. But again, it just like kept my attention. So that was awesome. Um, then they played uh, another song that I recognized but didn't really know. And then they definitely played a newer song um, uh, that I liked. And I guess because it was a little bit less instrumental heavy I could hear the lyrics like super clear so that was also like awesome and again I just love when I can hear and understand lyrics especially in a song that I'm not super super familiar with so that was really nice um and then like pretty much at the 35 minute mark was when he finally stopped and kind of started talking and he um said hello and thanked the other bands for being there <coughs> excuse me after that he played a song that or they played a song that I didn't know um, but I definitely recognized and, um, oh, so yeah, it was, sorry. I, I definitely recognized the song. So the song was, it pulls you up and, and towards the end when they actually say it pulls you up, I was like, oh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, okay. I know which song that is. So I was really actually glad to see that one because I do like that song. And again, I recognized it maybe a little too late, but I definitely, um, was excited to hear that song. And then... Boy, let me tell you, there was just a magical 10 minutes where I was like, this is it, man. This is my show. Um, so, so they play my favorite song of theirs, which is Awful Things. And again, like, I know that there is like a chunk of songs on YouTube where they have videos for and Awful Things is one of them. And I, I just love Awful Things so much and I, I wish that that song would blow up because I love it and it's so good and seeing it live is so fun and I just love it. It was so great and definitely the crowd was really into it so that was awesome to see everyone else loving that song. And then, <coughs> excuse me, and then after that they play Am I Alive? Which is again, like my second favorite song of theirs or one of my favorite songs of theirs. So it was just so fantastic loved it loved it loved it and then they follow up with another song that i knew not as well as um <clears throat> awful things and am i alive but it was just like so great it was like all right so i had these like 10 minutes of perfect music followed up by like another five minutes of awesome music it was so great and i really enjoyed it um after that they played a song i recognized but didn't know that well um and and again it was so the song they played was garden bed and I was so glad that they played that. Um, and I know that they have made a video for it. So I kind of assumed going in that they were going to play it. But I was actually really, really looking forward to seeing it. And again, I don't know it as well as um, Am I Alive or Awful Things. But I was really, really looking forward to Garden Bed. So I was actually really glad that they played that right after a song I knew, but not too well. And then they went to Garden Bed. So I thought that that was a nice order. Um, and then after that, they sang a song that I knew pretty well. And again, I, I'm terrible with their song titles, so sorry about that. But um, then he talked about how um, there was like a post in the middle of the stage. Again, this venue was like in a basement, so it was kind of weird. They definitely had um, structural posts, like kind of in the middle of the venue and then in the middle of the stage as well. He was like, man, it's like really hard not to like lean on this thing. I like this thing. So that was kind of cool that that was definitely a unique touch that probably most other venues did not have. Um, and then he sang a slower song and um, it was just with the guitar. So the drum and keyboardist had left and um, I didn't recognize it, but it was again, like easier to understand the lyrics because there were no drums and definitely um, a good, good song. Um, then he thanked us for being here and he like was talking about how it's Tuesday and, um, you know, he appreciated that people showed up and then somebody yelled, um, a comment to him because he was like, yeah, he's like, you basically just came to watch a stranger do karaoke. So he was like, so thanks for that. And, um, the person was like, yeah, like that karaoke was like, like well done. And he was like, that was like such a random comment. He's like, that's such a random thing to say. So he's like, man, that really threw me off. So again, just like something that definitely not every show had and, and I kind of like that our crowd was a little bit more interactive with him so that was really awesome 
Um, and then after that, they played another slower song, The Bells. Um, I really liked the lyrics to that one. So, so again, it was definitely an interesting way to end the show that they ended on two slower songs. Um, so yeah, that was definitely interesting for sure. I actually kind of thought maybe they would come back out but once they left the stage the venue turned the music back on so it seemed like it was over but the lights there are like it didn't seem like there were house lights so it was kind of weird um and again I've never been to that venue before so I don't know if that's what they do and, and then everyone just kind of left so there definitely wasn't an encore if that was the intention um but yeah so <clears throat> ratings um he kind of enjoyed the first band yum wish that the lyrics were more clear and and again i give him a lot of credit for figuring out that that first song wasn't working and then changing it so that was definitely a plus second band again female singer that fell into a lot of the reasons i don't enjoy female lead singers but there were a lot of good songs and i liked some of the lyrics other lyrics i didn't really enjoy that much so that was kind of like a wash for me. They, they, I don't know. It was fine. But I did like the cover song that they chose. So I thought that was really good. Um, oh, and actually going back to Yum, the first band, that one cover song I was not really a fan of. And I wish that he would have finished the other cover song or would have just played his own song if he knew that he wasn't going to be able to play that Dido cover. But, um, and then, yeah, so From Indian Lakes definitely had an awesome set. I thought the order of their songs was good. Personally, I wish they would have ended with um awful things and i'm alive i think that would have been an awesome way to end the show people were like definitely jumping around a little bit and were super into it but instead they kind of ended with these two slower songs also i wonder if there was gonna be an encore so that was like kind of like a weird way to end it but maybe it wasn't maybe that was the intention to end on slower songs but i would think you would want to end on like a high like kind of energetic note so that was just like different for sure um, and again, I always just love ending on a song that I know and can kind of like be like, oh, gosh, that was like such a great last final moment. But um, yeah, overall, it was a really good show. I think I'm going to give this one a an 8.0. I think that's a pretty fair score. So let me know what you think. Did you go? Did you want to go? Have you ever even heard of From Indian Lakes um, or any of the other bands that I saw? Comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.